Welcome. I'm joined today by my guest, Grace Mellon. Uh, she's the Group Ops Director at Belvoir. Hello, Grace. How are you doing? Really well, thanks, David. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Really good. Um, today, we're here to talk about a, a uh, supplier uh, inventory base, more specifically. Um, obviously, inventories are a major um, part of our lettings process in any, any business of any size, particularly one as big as Belvoir. Um, what made you sort of what made them stand out for you in terms of when you selected uh, inventory base for this purpose? Well, actually, a number of our offices in the different brands that we have, so we obviously have Northwood, Belvoir, um, Newton, Fallowell, Lavelle, Nicholas Humphreys, a number of offices we're using inventory base for inventories. But actually, um, in central office here in one of my departments, I run the um, compliance and standards area. And I had heard a whisper um, that a long time ago, Steve, um, inventory base, base had developed uh, the software a little bit so it could be used for auditing and compliance for actual offices in the group. Um, so I um, dropped Steve um, an email and he thankfully um, sort of um, pulled that old um, data out and has customised the inventory-based software to do that for me here, which has been fantastic. That is fantastic. It's always great when you when you've got a provider that's willing to adapt it for your for your needs. And that probably leads me on to my next question in terms of sort of integrating it both within your teams in terms of getting them to adopt it and also mm -hmm. existing software. Um, did it sort of fit into that puzzle of, of different things you've got going on? Well, listen, like everything with new software, you've got the ones that are love change and embrace it and run with it and get excited by it. And then you've got the other ones who are sort of slightly uh, more reticent behind. And I have those in my department, but um, I made a champion of one of them who, who kind of walked to it more. Um, and it was actually um, really important for me because I've got a lot of offices and this bit of software, I think, is probably shaved about, you know, an hour and a half off each one. And when you've got hundreds, um, that's a huge saving for us in terms of man hours. Um, so it was, it was vital that they did, um, you know, take it on and run with it. And they have. It's fully embedded now. And actually, we're now at the point where we're looking at how we're going to use inventory base, customise it a bit more to do more for us and take that process a bit further. And Steve's uh, an inventory base are very happy to do that with us. And the great news so far has been that I haven't paid a lot for customization, which is always the fear when you talk about customizing with software companies. You, you, know, you see the, 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 the pound signs, but no, they've been really good. It can always be done, but it's, all, it's not always the cheapest yeah. way to go down. Yeah. <laughs> so it hasn't been you know, an expensive journey to get something that we can work with, but I'm sure um, in the book we were more tweaking to do, but they're happy to do that with us. So no, it's, it's been really a really successful um, part of improving my processes and efficiencies. That, that sounds fantastic. So that's sort of internal um, improvement. And I always like to think the perfect supplier or the perfect product is something that not only saves us time and, and sort of raises efficiency levels within the business, but is also evident to the end users, which are the customers at the end of the day. Um, how do you think uh, in, implementing and bringing in inventory base, how do you think that's benefited the customer's experience overall? So in my case, my customers are the franchisees and um, before we used to um, kind of make it quite mysterious, they never used to see the full reports and now we can instantly just share the full reports with them, which was a decision I had to make separately from the software, but actually whilst there's a lot of pages and we don't really want them to print them out, um, it does mean they get full visibility of everything behind the points that we're raising. So you know, I think, you know, being open in communication is, is where we're all tending to go these days. Um, and I, so I think that's been positive and a um, non, um, you know, an, a, an environmentally conscious way of being able to share it without uh, having reams of paper printed out. No, that's great. And it, and it sounds at its core, it's, it's also in fairly intuitive and easy to to learn to use and, and to yeah. implement you yeah. not, not experience any any problems with that but in terms of the um backup the inventory base of, of giving you it sounds like they've been great in sort of getting the product installed yeah. after sales service um how's that been i mean all 
honestly, and I'm not something that's easy to please, as a few people probably in the industry may know. Um, but it has genuinely been, we want something, we just book a meeting in, we get a meeting, we go through it, and we, they, they find a way, either way around it or a, a way to change it. Um, so I would say it's been fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Grace, thank you very much for, for taking the time to talk to us. Oh, it's been nice to see you.